Let's start the stream. Let's see if it sounds good on the Twitch app. Wow, I've got 25,000 views for my channel. That's, uh, that's not a good retention rate considering I've got 370 followers. I should probably work on that somehow. Stream chat. Okay, cool. I can see the stream chat and the activity feed in this, uh, this dashboard. So what I'm going to do is check the audio from here and see this dashboard. So what I'm going to do is okay. So that sounds healthy. Let me just go ahead and announce this thing to these people over here. Boom. And okay, that's done. Everything is done. So we can start a new league right now. Bam. And this is going to include all the newest and latest and greatest and hottest basketball GM user interface updates, which I believe there's two main ones, which is now we have this little sidebar here, which I've found to be very handy. I thought that the game was completely unusable on mobile because it, it was basically a menu clicking game. That was it. You're just clicking menus to click menus. But then the slide out thing came. So this slides out when you're on mobile. And it makes it usable. I really like it. So we're going to use this going forward because it works well on PC as well where should i put my phone so i can see the chat maybe right here next to the monitor that's cool okay so i have a pretty nice player in aaron jones here 74 overall Everyone else is kind of garbage, trash. Oh, excuse me, my, my, my microphone is exposed. Uh, let's just get it out of the way right there. Yeah. So what was I doing? I was looking at Aaron Jones over here. Do I want to trade someone? I think that's the biggest question I want to ask myself. What up, Zan man? How you doing? Yeah, maybe we can just clean up some of these contracts. Let's go to the trading block. It's my favorite part of the game. Just trying to wheel and deal on the trading block. See if you can get rid of both of these contracts at the same time. Ooh, two second round picks, but we're still far away with the money. Nobody's got a really great deal for us, which makes me a sad panda. Mm, okay, we'll try them individually. Maybe go for the big A. Hey, look at that. We get a young player that's got some dribbling, jumping, and speeding. And we also get a cheap contract. 7 mil, though, for 57 overall potential. We get a second round pick as well. Or two second round picks there. Mm, 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 mm. we're gonna go with that 
get a young player and get a draft pick. Thank you, Zam man. The beard is uh the beard is doing its thing. Oh, I gotta move the the chat. The beard is yeah, I'm letting it do its thing. It's getting a little wild. But that's okay. What is up, Tim Duncan? I miss Tim Duncan already. Dumb Matter is the shit, isn't he? He is he is pretty pretty awesome. Okay, so we're gonna propose this trade here. Just get through it. Boom. A little bit of money. Uh, the rest of the players are fairly young, so maybe if we can dump some of these older player contracts Through 2018. Oh, well, it's gonna expire. So I think this is cool This is cool. We're gonna have a little bit of money to spend next season when some of these contracts expire When a lot of them expire Bam, I love it. Okay Let's go back to the roster page. Why don't I just use this handy dandy thing over here? Auto sort the roster. We are gonna get whooped and that is a-okay with me. We're gonna do really, really well in the, in the draft. Or we're gonna do okay. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness me, I have to adjust the finances hold on we got to be number one let's move this up to 62 and then maybe 21 22 22.4 22.5 there we go 22.5 is the magic number ladies and gentlemen and the finances are updated we have a bunch of injuries that makes me sad okay now we are losing properly hopefully a bit more get some more losses in there oh fuck we are in the playoffs somehow that was not expected and uh, we got knocked out in the first round so that is okay Aaron Jones though is a bit of a baller Larry Dixon we got a all rookie over here he had eh, nine points four and a half rebounds almost a block per game it's making quite a bit of money as well well that did not go the way I was hoping that it would Let's get to the draft here and see how bad the damage is. We're picking 18th. Now, is there a, a generational player in the draft? The answer is no. And so we are just going to sim to our shitty. What if we trade the pick? What if we trade? What if we go to the trading block and we're like, yo, who wants the 18th pick? And what do you what do you want to give me for it? two second round picks I might even just do that I'll take a 2019 oh they're contending as well so they don't really care but that's fine I'll take the picks I don't even want to spend the money on the player boom we're gonna tank next season though we made the playoffs, so we're fine we have a little bit of good standing credit with the ball so uh auto sort so what am i trying to do here we're in the draft right okay until your next pick let's go back to the drafts mm, john t bird has a 59 potential which i think is is worthwhile picking him up mike picard nobody is worth keeping they all want a lot of money so they're gone out of here that's going to give me 13 million in cap space which does give me enough to get this very interesting 
young forward very smart defensive player 64 defensive iq at 22 not going to hit those two pointers can score inside though okay i think we're going to pick him up i think that's what we're going to do negotiate boom Okay, we got a really, really young team. I thought we were gonna tank, but maybe we're gonna go all the way. I have a feeling. I've got a feeling. Um, that feeling didn't exactly work out because the players are not that much better. I was hoping they would be a lot better. That makes me sad. But it's fine, it is fine. We're gonna recover from this. We are going to, oh, we cannot trade him yet. We gotta trade him after 15 games. Majeko. Yeah, maybe we can get a lot of first round picks. I would love to just, oh my goodness, two first round picks. I would love to pick that up. I think we got to go with the two first rounders. What up, ferret? Howdy doody. Okay, how are we going to make this work? We need to pick up an expensive, shitty contract. Uh, This is not going to work at all. There's no way that they're going to accept this. Okay. They just, they just accepted that, which is fine for me. What up, Lizzie? Oh my goodness, Lizzie, you gotta stop subscribing, yo. I haven't streamed enough to earn a subscription, but I like how it tells me about these events. That's cute. And what's this activity feed? I don't know what the fucking activity feed is, but, but like. It shows it to me on this little dashboard app. It's cute. Okay. So I just got a bunch of draft picks, which is cool, but we got to pump those numbers up. Two more first round draft picks. That is the high life. That's a very, that's actually a very good streak, Lizzie. That's a fan, 15 months is, I think that's lasted longer than most of my relationships, which is sad in a way, but, uh, but that's just the way a cookie scrambles sometimes. I'm not tearing up, it just looks like that. The camera adds 10 tears. <laughs> so, I was going to look for a deal here that works. And this works, but we're gonna see if it works for them. Am I crazy? Maybe a little bit. They want Larry Dixon as well, which is fine. It's fine for me, but we gotta make the money work, buddy. So what about Dominic Garma? Can we put him in the deal? It's, it's not a good deal. How does this sound? Oh, they want a very far first round pick from the 22 season. Um, well, I, I don't plan to be bad by then. I would rather take their two first rounders I mean I'm not getting much it, it's kind of sad if I trade the first rounder but if I get two out of them I'm taking two of their players uh, yeah we're gonna propose that trade and just take it it's not the most amazing deal but I think that we're gonna we're gonna be okay. Jovan Miggins is a very silly name that we are going to trade 
immediately. We can get a first rounder and a second rounder. How sexy is that? That's pretty fucking sexy. I think I'm going to have to shake on that. But we need to make the money work. What about Benoit? Does he make it work? No, this is very bad. This is very, very bad. I love it. Let's propose this trade. They think I'm crazy. We can't give up so much because it's a very good young player that they have here, which is understandable. What about a not so good young player? Still crazy. Okay, they're getting on my nerves. We're just going to play the season because there's no way that we're going to win with this stack of scrubs, basically. Okie dokie. I love it. And onward to the playoffs we go with our scrub team that is currently uh, doing okay until now. We're really having a hard time at this losing stuff. We're actually pulling a profit. Okay, but we had a shitty record. We we actually had a losing record and we made the seventh spot in the playoffs. I don't even understand how that math works out. How does that even... We're set, we have a losing record. We have 40 wins and 42 losses, and we're the seventh seed. That is just sad. That is really sad. Okay, through the playoffs we go, though, where we're going to lose in the first round. Let's see where we get to in the drafts. I love it. We are picking 16th, 16th, and you know what, Ian Strug here is looking like a bit of a baller. Only 71 potential though, I don't think that's worth jumping up for. We're gonna get Hank Guard here. My man, Hank. That's right, it's tank time. So we're gonna get Hank the tank as we tank Ola. I love it. Okay, a lot of people are asking for way too much money and that is why we're gonna go onward right now. So let's see who we can afford. Oh my goodness, Devon Weathers is 71 overall. Ooh, but Aaron Taylor, who was just on our team, no, was not on our team. He wants 24 mil. Oh, but we need to tank. It's tank time. We're gonna tank. Actually, we got a bunch of first round draft picks, so maybe we don't even need to, you know, if we just trade our first round draft picks, then we don't need to tank because we're gonna get other people's fucking first round picks. Uh, but they don't want, nobody wants to give me a first rounder? No one? No? My first rounder is not? No? Okay. Okay. That's, that's fine. I love it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Really, I'm a bit confused. I'm perplexed. I love it. Because I'm worried 
that these players are going to be good. There's no way they're going to be good. They're not going to get better. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. It's fine. We're going to tank. But the rest of the league is so bad. Like, that's why... Fuck, do we have to be even worse than we are now? Maybe just if Miggins goes. If we can get Miggins out of here, there's no way that we're going to win. It's not going to be possible. And we can get a first-round pick out of somebody. Like, maybe... 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 The Detroit Muscle? Oh, actually, this one's very close. They're contending, so it's not going to be an amazing pick. Especially after we give them homeboy. But... It might be worth it. it might be worth it. What are you, crazy? Maybe a little bit. I love it. Okay, pleasure doing the business. So, we have a shit tier team. Just the worst group of scrubs that you could actually ever hope to put together. So this is gonna be a huge failure of a season and they all got worse. And so this is gonna be amazing. We're gonna get the first overall pick. Why are we winning? Oh, thank goodness. Finally. Shitting the bed. I love it. Oof, look at that. That is brutal. We are getting hurt out there. I love it. Okay, so we did not make the playoffs. As was designed by the process. I love it. Jordan Rodsky is a defensive standout. And we got fucking screwed in the draft. But we also get to pick eighth because of Sacramento. So the question is, is Marquise Berry here worth moving up for? Or is Gino Ford... gonna be an okay pick as well or do I get somebody a bit more mature like Rob Reigns who has good IQ stats mmm so many things that could happen we're just gonna simulate one pick oh my goodness Gino Ford is gone so Marquise Berry and Rob Reigns are still on the pick list. Who is Houston going to pick? Marquise Barry is going second with a 73 overall. And that is going to leave the best overall player in the draft. The most basketball GM ready. Rob Reigns, who we are going to scoop up here. Bloop. And then I suppose we're going to need to take Dan Harris, the next best. I don't really see... Well, actually, RJ Bradley here has some pretty good IQ stats. And I'm very fond of high IQ players. Oh, man, but Anthony Murphy here. Look at these fucking stats on Anthony Murphy, yo. He's got that athleticism. Perimeter defender. He's a small forward. Cannot rebound the ball, though. That is a bit of a bummer for me, to be quite honest. But then we have Kaysen Rogers here, who is an interesting prospect. 36. 59. We're going to take a gamble here on Case and Rogers. Let's see how my gamble works out. Picking eighth. 
Kaysen Rogers. Boom. We have three first round picks. It's pretty exciting. Who is the best left over? Brandon Stokes. That's some decent IQ stats for a 20 year old. Anthony Murphy. I don't know about Anthony Murphy, yo. I just don't know. Can we trade this pick? I'll trade this right now. 17. Who wants it? 21. Oh, I can pick 18th if I want. Mm. Two second rounders. I'll just take the two second rounders, yo. I don't really want anybody else in that draft. Okay, cool. So that is all sorted out. Rob Reigns is in the squad. Let's go to the draft. Still have more draft picks though. But these are going to be cheap draft picks, so it's okay. Eric Ba is going to be a solid role player, I'm telling you. Jordan Rosicki wants a shitload of money. $18 million. I didn't even draft you. Let's see, what have you done? You were 58 overall, and then 63 overall, and then 60 overall? No, thank you. Who else? Who deserves a fucking contract here? Mike Talton asking for three mil. Put up six assists. Just not a whole lot of upside there. So we're just going to move right on. Life is so crazy, Lizzie. You saw the stuff that I showed you. You know, you know what's going on. You know what's happening. Lots of crazy stuff. Ooh, Tim Wisniewski. Oh, we gotta pick homeboy up. For four seasons. Bam. Just like the hotel. Free agents. Who cannot afford free agents? A lot of, lot of players do not want to sign with me. And I don't blame them. But this is a pretty cheap pickup here. So I think we're going to scoop them up four years for 11 mil could see that potential move up how are you and Farrah doing Lizzie um what if we simulate a week and check to see that Johnny Cannon is available but he's pretty expensive so we're gonna simulate another week and we're just gonna simulate another week and um, Richard Vernon let's take a look at the team composition uh, we have only what everybody in the starting lineup is new except for Charles Welsh who's not very good so we should probably probably doing something about that I feel you you see me out there grinding grinding away we should probably just save the Monet but we could rent homeboy on a one-year contract it's gonna be more expensive but that'll give us 
something. So let's get to the start of the season where a lot of really great things have happened here. Rob Reigns has popped. Um, Kaysen Rogers is that pick that I made. And it uh, didn't turn out so hot. Am I still visiting the court? I finally, I'm, I'm back on the basketball court. I'm back on. I was injured for a little while there. But yeah, it's going, going really well. Finally, back on the court. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna go because we have a lot of money left over to, to sign another max contract. So even if we don't do well this season, should be okay. We're losing a lot of money though. We need to start Packing some wins together. Wisenuski over here doing his thing. And we did not even make the fucking playoffs. Are you serious? Dude, are you serious? Are you serious? Wow. Our fucking. Division is tough as shit. Fuck. Thank you, Lizzie. Yeah, I'm going to try to... I got a brace for my ankle so that I cannot bend it at all anymore. So there's no way that I'm going to fuck it up again. Unless the brace breaks and then it just jabs my fucking ankle and severs an artery and I just die right there on the court. I mean, of course, that can always always happen, but I feel like that's more of a last case scenario or worst case scenario. I'm just making up phrases. Yeah, man. So uh, this was really fucked. This was really fu I thought we were going to do something. But we got the rookie of the year. Look at my man, Rob Reigns. 16 points, 6.8 rebounds, 2.6 assists. My very last stream. Lizzie's like, yeah, if you die, just, just stream it so that, you know, we can have an ending to this whole story. <laughs> we'll just put... Put a back cover on that book right there. All right, let's read the messages. Let's go to the drafts. We have a we have two top ten picks from all the trades that we made. Unfortunately, this is a weak ass draft, so that kind of makes me sad. But we're just gonna sim. Well, at least I still get the subs from Lizzie's. Lizzie, so that's good. Reggie Thompson is not a great inside scorer. Hmm. Hugo? What about Hugo? No. Bradley? Uh, not so great either. Gosh, these are so bad. We're just going to have to pick the best. Yeah. We're just got to go with the best potential and hope something comes out of them. Okie dokie. Jonathan Singleton is not going to get re-signed because he's greedy. Richard Vernon is not getting re-signed as well. Now we still have 18 million. So like there's a lot that can be done. Uh Bernard over here does not want to sign with us though. 
but Eric Rivers might be a good pickup at 32 years old. I don't know, yo. I'd much rather get Corey Brown here for 15 mil. Not a great passer, but still young. We can see some improvement there. Let's give him a shot. Let's give the kid a shot. We got a young team. We need to see them continue to develop. If we check finances, we are currently spending number one in everything, so we should be giving ourselves the best chance to win. So we'll go onward to the preseason. where good things happen. Nothing amazing happened, but good things happened. Kaysen Rogers is just making me sad. I thought we would see strides from Kaysen Rogers. It's still possible, but it's not looking so great. All right, let's see if we can fucking make it out of our division this time. Oof is not looking amazing. We don't really have great defenders on the team. I think that's the issue. If we go to the stats for the team, we can see quite clearly, well, actually, we're one of the best defensive free. Okay, so we, we turned the season around, and we're the second seed. We won 56 games, which is pretty... Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. You get 50 wins in a season and people are like, that's pretty good. It's pr pretty good. So that's going to give us the second seed. So let's just go until the end of the round here where we just got bounced the fuck out. Holy fuck by the seventh seed. Shit. Shit. We had an all rookie though. 8.6 points per game. Well, that fucking makes me sad. Let's go to the draft where once again we got an earlier pick. Picking 16th. I don't really see anything amazing here. Lewis could be interesting. Nothing amazing. Nothing worth jumping the gun for. Doug Barnes could be an interesting offensive player off the bench, so we'll give him a shot opportunity. And so we still have 11 million. Hank Gord is not an amazing player in any regard. Eric Ba. Not terrible. Not horrible. Not worth 8 million though. So we're going to move onward. Where we have 11 million. And Ishmael... Oh, my man Ishmael. We're going to pick up my man Ishmael. Ishmael is hired. And that's going to give us a lot of players here. Let's just go to the preseason. We don't have any money. We're making money. We're making it to the playoffs. Life is good. And a lot of the players improved. So this is good as well. Let's go ahead and release a few of them here. Some extraneous play is still a fairly young team still got some prime left in our top players let's see if we can get past the first round finally hitting some steam over here Wisniewski is putting up a 30 player efficiency rating which is noise We're going to get our 50 wins. 
and we're gonna get 56 wins, which is gonna put us in third. Nobody really putting amazing stats up for the team. Everybody's fairly basic. If we go to the player ratings, we can see why Zanuski is a top five player in not such a great league. What up, Alex Noob? We are checking league leaders, which Wisniewski is a top five scorer, a league that's not really great at scoring. You like the way I sing, huh? I like the way I sing too. I should make a record about how I can't sing, but I like singing. All right, we're going to go through the playoffs till the end of the round where we are going to win. We defeated them 4 to 0. And then we just got swept in the second round. Fuck my life. Fuck my dear little life. Cleveland's curses are going to be the champions. So much for the curse. Look at Ontanius Man. Dude. Oh, fuck. I got to get this pick, yo. I'm going to trade everything. Everything. All of my first round picks. Come on. Come on. Give it up. I'm giving you all of my draft picks. Oh, they want Tim Wisniewski. Well, that's I think that's a fair trade, to be honest, because that dude is fucking insanely good at 19 years old, 61 overall with 80 potential. Squeeze me. That's an insta pick right there. But I got to make the money work. 27 million. So then I should be able to take away some of these first rounders. If you want Tim, if you want to trade Tim, then we can put Col Caleb here, 207. And then Josh Ritchie, they're both bad contracts, right? So boom, accepted. So I did not have to give up all of my first rounders, which is awesome. But I gave up Tim. Tim was a great guy, but he's not. On Teus Man. Bloop. Okay. So we just got a potentially generational player, which is very exciting. Uh, Rob Reigns is definitely going to come back. He was a rookie of the year. Solid player, three years. Cason uh, Rogers is a huge, huge disappointment for me. Not sure what to do with you, Kaysen. Actually, I'm very sure. We're gonna move right on. We're gonna move right on. Moving right along. While I'm singing this song. So, we're just gonna go. We got no money, honey. What you think is so funny? We're just gonna go to the preseason. Um, so it's always tough to give up your star player, especially for a rookie that regressed as soon as he got on the team. That's not good. But check out Marco over here, putting in work in that weight room. We got backups. It's okay. It's okay. He's still going to win fucking rookie of the year. I'm not worried about that. Look at Onteus, man. Okay, maybe he's not going to win rookie of the year. Yeah, he will. Come on, get those double digits. It's getting five, five, five. Like, it's good, yo. It's good. My man's going to do it. 
My man's gonna do it. 63 wins. Leading us to a 63 win season. We had some significant bench play coming in to help. Oh yeah. Yeah, the new the new UI is cool. Like we can try out look there's a dark dark mode. Check out motherfucking dark mode. Oh shit. Do I like dark mode better? I feel like dark mode it's not good for the stream. We're gonna go back to not dark mode. You like dark? It's kind of, it's not, it doesn't look good for me when I'm staring at like a large light source. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna simulate to the end of the round where we are gonna beat Cleveland, who were the previous year's champions. So, they can fuck right off. And then we're going to beat Miami because we're awesome and they can fuck right off. And then we're going to get next season started where we're going to win. Anteus Ont Mann was the rookie of the year, by the way. I knew he would be. I knew he would be. Really? Do y'all like dark mode? I'll put on dark mode. It's not. It's not a. It doesn't affect me too much. I love it. Dark mode it is. Okay. So, we're going to go to the roster. We're going to go to here. Uh, we're going to pretend that didn't happen. And we're going to go to the draft where we don't have a great pick. <laughs> His name is Pooh. <laughs> uh, we're going to pick Pooh. Okay. I love it. Corey Brown and Reggie Thompson refuse to sign with me. That's fine. Um, do I want to pick up any of these motherfuckers? Not for the prices that they want me to pay. So let's go to free agency. I love it. Let's see who I can afford. I love it. Victor Sparrow. It's a very interesting 72 overall player who could be the spark that we need to really fuck shit up. And he wants a five year contract. Eager to reach an agreement. That's great. We're just going to sign him. And we still have 10 million, which is going to get us. I would like somebody who can really dish the ball. Nadu Pool here is an amazing passer, but he old as fuck. Like he old as fuck. I love it. Okay, we're gonna sign him anyway though. Boom, and then let's see our new superstar squad. In the preseason, Rob Reigns and Anteus Mann, they both popped. Doug Barnes popped. Everyone else just absolutely hurt themselves in the gym somehow, which makes me sad. Um. What am I trying to do? I have to sign some players. Oh, wow. Cheeto Frazier here. Interesting pickup. 
Zier Galloway, also interesting pickup. And then I think that's I think that's all we need. I think we got the will to succeed. So we're gonna go to we are at the preseason. And we're gonna be great. We're gonna be awesome. We have no interior players. We're gonna get destroyed. I love it. Onward until the playoffs. Uh, where a lot of sadness is is currently currently occurring. There's a current occurrence of sadness. I love it. We're gonna get 58 wins though, which is enough for the first seed. If we check out the power rankings, we are the best team. We've had the best margin of victory. We are the number one. We are the top of the chop and block. And we're gonna get destroyed in the playoffs, I'm sure. So let's just go one round at a time. Look at that, we swept Cleveland. Cleveland can eat a big bag of poo. Is poo still on the team? Because then then that makes sense. If poo is not on the team. Um Poo is Poo is is at the bottom of the team, which makes sense. My man Poo. So we're throwing Poo at the foo. We're going to round two. Which we're gonna sweep as well. Our floor is clean as fuck. Ooh, we lost one game going against New York. Let's take this one day at a time. Going against San Francisco. We're going to win the first matchup. Close game, 101-98. We're going to win the second matchup, 98-82. We're going to win the third. We lost the third matchup, 116-105. We lost the second one. It's tied 2-2, 124-78. We got destroyed. We won this one, 111-91. Oh, shit, son. We're going to a game seven in the playoffs. You know what that means. We're gonna watch the game live. I love it. Let's speed it up just a tittle bit here. Just see what, what happens. Currently, We are, uh, we're doing pretty well against them, actually. I love it. So who's doing the best? Rob Rains has 14 points and he's currently helping us stay on top of the venture capitalists by a narrow margin. We're gonna slow it down once we get into the fourth quarter. But it looks like Victor Sparrow has picked things up. And we are pulling away now in a dramatic smashing of the venture capitalists. They're down by 21. They are in Sadness City right now. We're going to slow this down just a little bit. They're down by 20. We got two players with 20 plus points. Victor Sparrow, Rob Reigns. A lot of defense going on here. We got 40 rebounds compared to their 34. And we've got 36 assists compared to their 20. So we've got much better team cohesion going on here.
we're shooting a little we're shooting around 45 percent or something from three they're shooting about 33 percent and they're not making it easier for themselves final score is going to be 119 106 for the monuments so we are going to get our championship and you know the work don't stop we gotta move on to the next one doesn't matter who we pick i think we're gonna do okay doug barnes i don't know about you doug 10 million it's a lot ishmael i don't know about you Five million. I have thirty million free, so I have enough for a max contract, which is really interesting. So I'm not going to pick up anybody. We're just going to take a look and see what we have in free agency. Clearly, Mike Hartstock is the best pickup by far, as far as potential age and overall so we're just gonna offer that max let me let me let me give you that max and we still got 3.3 million left which we're gonna use for Gerald here boom and that's our squad after we get one more scrub to fill out the roster Courtney Pierce with the rebounding skills. Bam, okay. Roster is full, let's go to the preseason and see what it do. Do do do, everyone got worse. That kind of sucks. Everyone got worse. Fuck. I think we can still do it. I think we can still go all the way. I believe because we're under the salary cap and I don't really feel like fucking that up. But I believe as well. We don't have an amazing distributor. We got Cheeto Frazier coming off the bench. Adding to it though. Victor Sparrow is doing his best. Ontanius man was really a disappointment, yo. Real huge disappointment. Let's check out the power rankings. We are the best in every category except for team talent. Atlanta Gold Club has the best talent of oh, because they have Docky McCoughlin Williams, who's 80 overall. Fuck that dude. Who the fuck does he think he is? Being so good. That's fine. Atlanta Gold Club. Let's remember that team name as we enter into the playoffs here. And we simulate to the end of the round where we beat Detroit. Look, Atlanta has moved on. But now we're going to face Cleveland. And we're going to beat Cleveland. And look at Atlanta just destroying people. Let's take it one game at a time and see who is the best. Oh, we have defeated them 104 99 close game oh we have defeated them again 124 96 fucking thumbed them we just lost it doesn't matter how much it doesn't matter it doesn't matter oh look at that we won 110 94 boom Having the best player does not mean that you're going to win the championship. Ask LeBron James the first time he was in Cleveland. Okay. So we're just going to go through the end of the playoffs because I think it's going to be up against Mexico City. Yeah, we're going up against Mexico City. We'll just take it one day at a time. Oh, fuck. We lost. Oh, shit. We won. Oh, fuck. 
We lost. Oh shit. We won. Oh shit. We won. Oh fuck. We lost. And Antaneus, Antaeus, Antaeus man was injured for three games. So you know we gotta watch this one live, yo. One day at a time. Speed it up. Speed it up quite a bit. Because we don't need to watch all the boring stuff. Look at my man, he's injured, yo. Look at all those fucking attributes just sitting on the bench right now. How fucking sad is that? I mean, if we still beat them and we lost one of our most versatile players, it just goes to show. I don't know what it goes to show, but it goes to show it. It is, it is shown. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's tight. The game is really, really tight. Victor Sparrow is putting up 17 points. He's the only one scoring in double figures. And this game is still super tight. He's got six assists as well. Rob Reigns with seven rebounds. 13 for Cheeto Frazier. 13 rebounds off the bench. Insanity. This is such a close game. Really. And we're, we're, we're finally losing steam over here. Oh, gosh. We're down by 10. There's six minutes left. It's not looking so hot, Lizzie. Victor's got 28 points. He must be gas, yo. It's got to be gas because he's out there giving is all and they do not have their best scores on the floor right now so maybe we can catch up yeah looks like we're trying to it's a tied game 89 89 with three minutes left this shit is getting heated victor sparrow's got 31 points this dude is just bawling his fucking heart out there's two minutes left and they're winning by one point mike hartsock with 21 points trying to do the damn thing uh we are leading by four points with 30 seconds left we're slowing it down and it looks like we're gonna win it looks like we are going to win unless some crazy ass shit happens nope we're gonna win booyah we're gonna take that back-to-back -back title Thank you very much. Speed it up. It's done. It's over. It's finished. Final score, 102. Mexico City Aztecs, 99. Um, playoff. Where's the, uh, the league screen? Where is the league screen? 2026. Um, there's that page that has everything. That shows all the stuff. Whatever. We won. Who gives a fuck? We're the champions from Go to Team History. We got back to back wins. Rob Reigns is the best player in our team's very short history. See, check that out. Check that out. Check out that progression right there. Okay, this is why we tank Ola. This is exactly why we tank Ola. We had two seasons where we didn't make the playoffs. Then we made the playoffs. Then we made the second round. Then we made the conference finals, and then we got two back-to-back -back chips. That's fucking beautiful. Okay. Let's go to the drafts. Oh, this could be a good player. Oh, man, look at that pass rate. Oh, gosh. Let's trade for this pick, yo. Let's trade. for. The, we're going to give all three first-rounders. Four first rounders, four of them. Okay, 
all of the second rounders as well. Okay, what would make this work? They can't afford to give up so much. Uh, let's go to the draft and let's just simulate a pick. Okay, he got picked, so fuck it. We're just gonna pick some some randos. Antius Man is going to stay with us with a three-year contract, and so is Rob Reigns. Rob Reigns is a beast, and we're going to go to free agency where we have no money. Do we have a team complete? Yes, we do. So let's go to preseason. We're gonna simulate one more season, one last quick one. Antaeus Man has popped five, so he's making up for some lost time. And he should be the best. Look at that 84 passer rating. He's gonna dish out like nine assists per game. Until the playoffs. Okay, seven assists per game. Maybe he's not legendary yet. Uh, also, we're not winning. We're not. We're not doing so hot. Mm -mm. We ain't gonna win no championships with this kind of team. But we got a lot of really great three-point shooters, and so, you know, I'm curious, what is what is our failure here? If we go to team stats, we can see that we're not an amazing rebounding team not really aggressive in getting to the free throw line not a great defensive team at all so that makes me kind of sad that's fine we're going to auto sort the roster uh, we are in the playoffs and we're gonna get swept out of the first. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, maybe we'll do one more. One more season, real quick, just because the game is so fucking fast. And we're gonna simulate until my next pick. Uh, fuck it, we're not gonna pick any of you but I probably need there we go okay we're just gonna see what we can do with the squad we got because they're some of the I mean a lot of them are young okay everyone got worse that's not what I was hoping to see guys that's like clearly not the point here we want to get better we're gonna try one more one more season give it a go give it a spin we're not even going to make the playoffs i bet i mean we're making money though so homeboy's going to be happy about that we didn't even make the playoffs well that's sad but that's life sometimes. Lizzie Furret. Alex Noob. The rest of y'all, thanks for coming to hang out. It's a nice quick one hour stream. Sometimes it's nice to just get a quick one in there. They don't all have to be 10 hours long. Oh no, Jay Stev, I'm literally just saying goodbye to everyone, yo. Oh man. But Jay Stev. Good to see you again. Um, but I'll be back again soon. Hopefully. We'll see. Things are crazy. Y'all know things are always crazy. I'm out. Peace.